Guys, this week was a little bit deja vu for the movie that we picked because you guys probably don't know those listening to here we've covered this movie before and then we completely lost the audio and by we i mean me because this was the one week that we were ahead of schedule in terms of recording we recorded an entire week ahead of time which we usually do not do and then i was late in downloading it from our recording software and it got deleted but i believe this originally was dan's pick is that correct dan no I think it was it's, Mark. Yes, it's, it's always been movie. mine. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you introduce this week's movie? Yeah. So the original reason this was picked is back when we were trying to solicit, you know, movies from people we knew, the audience and all that. And I had a coworker who really likes our podcast. She had suggested this movie, Vendetta. It's Lori Collins. She gives some really bad line reads in this movie. She has a line reading like, I've had it with your legal bullshit. Mr. Green, I'm well aware of your reputation, but I'm not impressed with your Beverly Hills rhetoric. Nor do I feel inclined to discuss the case until court convenes on Monday. I've had it with your legal bullshit. <laughs> one of my favorite things about this movie is that literally no one with any authority has even the slightest bit of empathy. Maybe the one head of security at the very end. Oh, not Deborah Harry. Yeah, they're not Deborah Harry. Another thing I picked up on uh, second watch, I was watching a lot of the background actors in this movie. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I don't think the director really knew what to tell them to do. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of times that they're just going batshit crazy in the background. The other female inmates who are just like they're they're going like super saiyan in the background. Uh, and th- there was um, these older women in the the final scene with the uh, the prince talent show. <laughs> the, uh, the, the drag king. king. Yeah, <laughs> which is the to me is the highlight of the movie. Uh, but there's these older inmates when the when. Um, the oh, prison yeah. riot is going going around, and they're just like picking a table up and down. I noticed that same thing, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They, I guess, the director just said, uh, "Go crazy," and they're like, "Okay," and they're just pick, like, "Yeah, this is fun." We're they're just picking up the table. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I don't know why we're focusing on these women, but I enjoyed it. Right. <laughs> it's a case where we had to fill this this women in prison movie with women. All we could find was middle-aged women, so and we can't have them going too crazy because they might not be able to do so. That's what it was. Like, yeah. They're too old to partake in the the fight, right? But they're so, just. Oh, we need young to, we need to create we need to create chaos, though. Exactly. So what can they do? There's a scene that made me laugh so hard at the bar where Lori and was Paul. Yeah. Lori and Paul, or Paul asked Lori to go for a dance. And Lori tells Bonnie, hey, remember the rules. Don't go anywhere. And as soon as Lori and Paul leave, there's a guy standing just off the camera who comes right in. Want to dance? No, thanks. Okay. And then just leaves. Let's dance. Okay. I'll be right back. Now. No, we won't. How about a dance? No, thanks. Question for you guys. Because, again, the, the one thing that I really want to highlight in this movie is that Lori Collins knows how to kick. Mm-hmm. She's really good at it. Yeah. It's all, I think it's, she only lands one punch in this movie. <laughs> uh, how many times do you think she kicks in this movie? Oof. Well, how many people does she kill? I think five. Five. And let's say she gets into, like, seven total fights. I'm thinking, like, 50. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say conservatively 50. Yeah, I was going to say it's at least seven to ten kicks per fight. So, you're yeah, we're looking about 50. You're probably not far off there, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. If, if any of the, if any of Kay's or Kay herself had done just a little bit of of uh, research on Lori, just watch the tape on Lori, you could beat her so easily. Like, make sure she doesn't kick you. Goddamn! Lori goes to have a conjugal visit with Paul and mentions that she found out who killed Bonnie. She killed one of the other girls already. So Paul freaks the fuck out, which absolutely he should. Yeah, I'm glad he did. Even though Lori confidently exclaims, it's Bushido, which I think <laughs> is the funniest line in the whole movie. Because it's it's just, it's so hilarious. I found out who killed Bonnie. And I've already killed one of them. 
You did what? Achieving honorable justice. That's Bushido. Because there is no point in this movie has it ever explained that Lori is like an Asian file, like a Japanophile. Women will practice Bushido instead of go to therapy. therapy. (laughs) I was going to say something like that. (laughs) Damn it. Christ, Laura, you need help. Save your time and money, Paul. Don't come back again. Because I won't see you. Thanks for listening to They Call This a Movie. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts and be sure to check us out on Twitter and Instagram at TicTamPod. That's T-C-T-A-M-Pod. You can also check us out on TikTok at They Call This a Movie.